for the state of Maryland and was recruited by Naha to help form a commission here in Philadelphia. Please put your hands together for Cornelia and Peter. Thank you very much, Charles. Isn't he doing a great job, you guys, as our MC? We are so proud to have you here, Charles. Thank you. So Cornelia, we asked her to say a few words, but she said, if you want to talk to her, you got to go back to her table, which is straight back there. Could somebody wave next to the AIM flag? Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. The Native American House Alliance, please stop by and visit, as well as the American Indian Movement. We are so proud to be partnered with Indigenous Day Philadelphia. Isn't this a great day? We want to take a moment to thank everybody who organized this thing, who came here from all over the nation to speak. Thank you very much and for providing us this platform. Now, was anybody here a month ago when we had the powwow at this very same location? Yeah, yeah thank you. And we also honored the treaty as well as your first responders here. And so as you come to this each and every year from now on, be sure to come to the powwow and I'll try to get Eugene up to speak next year too. Hey. <laughs> but when I started the powwow, I recited the wise words of Tecumseh. And this is what I will speak to you today. Tecumseh, a great prophet, seer, and leader of our people. If he were alive today, he would be a member of the American Indian Movement, working for the good of all. <laughs> Tecumseh said to you, live your life that the fear of death can never enter your heart. Trouble no one about his religion. Respect others in their views and demand that they respect yours. Love your life. Perfect your life. Beautify all things in your life. Seek to make your life long and of service to your people. Prepare a noble death song for the day when you go over the great divide. Always give a word or a sign of salute when passing a friend or even a stranger if in a lonely place. Show respect to all people but grovel to none. When you rise in the morning, give thanks for the light. Give thanks for your life. Give thanks for your strength. Give thanks for your food and the joy of living. If you see no reason to give thanks, then the fault lies within yourself. Touch not the poisonous fire water that makes wise ones turn into fools and robs the spirit of its vision. When your time comes to die, be not like those whose hearts are filled with death, so that when their time comes, they weep and pray for a little more time to live their lives over again in a different way. No, sing your death song and die like a hero going home. The words of Tecumseh. And I just wanted to share with you a prayer really quick. If we can pray together. Great Spirit, we thank you, Great Spirit. We thank you for the gift of family whether it be the one we were born into or the one we adopted on our Red Road journey. Remind us, Grandfather, of the old ways of our people when selfish need was weighed against the good 
of the tribe and family. Help us, Grandfather, to hold fast to our native values and moral righteousness that were born from a time with seldom concern for lust and abuse. You know, Grandfather, as time passed, traditions were hard to keep. But today, we are returning, Grandfather, and we need time to heal and love ourselves, to be of good character and moral leaders for our children. Let us not forget our elders. To do so is a crime against you, Grandfather, and our mother, for we know what is done to the mother will soon be done to us. We have seen this. May it not scar us for eternity. Today, Grandfather, as we remember the times of past, let us know that we must act as a family to raise our children. Aunties are important and able teachers. Uncles are caretakers for the elderly. Each brother, sister, and cousin has a necessary role. Unite us again as family as we cast off the patriarchal teachings of Western society and return to what we know to be true. Aho. Thank you very much, Peter. Next up, I want to introduce Pauline Hilton. She's an elder of the Seminole Creek descent, an indigenous activist, and a longtime performer of the Native Dance Theater a Philadelphia-based nonprofit organization known for its powwow-style performances. Some of you that were here earlier, they were performing, and you were able to join in on their, their social and cultural dances. Again, put your hand...